Hey guys, Anna and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new to this channel. It's lovely to see your face and I hope you consider subscribing so you can continue seeing this gorgeous face. Wouldn't you want to? Wouldn't you want to? <laughs> I am so weird. So you got that to look forward to. So yeah, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and um, commenting if you want to. And also share the video if you want to see me grow. I mean, share it with your mom, your uncle, your grand, your grandpa, your aunts, your hamster, chimpanzee, your monkey, your elephant, whatever you have or whoever you want to tell it to, make sure you tell it to that person. Because I just want to grow, guys. Make sure you share it, please. I will love you forever for it. And today we're going to be um, reacting to Cardi B. Good old Cardi B. Say a little bit. You get me. If you want to. This is Spence. This is Red but This is Blush. Anyway, I am too weird. Let's just get into the video. I'm going to be reacting to Cardi B commenting on the whole coronavirus epidemic. I know we're all self-isolated, um, staying at home, not going out, protecting ourselves, protecting others as well. Um, I hope you guys are safe, I hope your family are safe, your loved ones, your friends, everyone is safe because this is a very challenging time that we're facing. It's just so weird. Like two weeks, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, I cannot speak. Two, three weeks ago, I just, this whole uh, coronavirus thing was just, Honestly, I was not taken seriously whatsoever. I just thought things were blown way out of proportion. I thought people were going crazy for no reason. I just, I just thought it was a whole mess. But to this day now, and how things have changed, it's just baffling to me. So I hope you guys are safe. Honestly, look after yourself and look after others. And today, I'm just gonna be like, we're keeping it light. Serious and then like because this time we're facing is far too serious just for us to be miserable at home. So hopefully I will give I can bring you some joy to your day today. So let's first start with Cardi B commenting on the government and the whole um coronavirus thing. Let's get it guys. Let's see what she has to say. Now this was on her Instagram. I just pulled it out from Cardi's Instagram. I like the way she's got her mask on. You're at home, B. You ain't got to put your mask on. Sunglasses and everything. The nails, though. Ooh! She's got beautiful nails. Too long for me, but for our you rocket girl. But the nails are gorgeous. The design's beautiful. But the mask, too much. Let's get into it. Sometimes I get on my live and I be talking about crazy shit, you know, entertaining my fans, and people might just take what I say and just run with it and say what the fuck it is. And I really want to let uh, these celebrity know. I really want the confusion mm -hmm. that um, let the them know public have, right? And the mm -hmm. questioning that the general public has, mm -hmm. because if number forty-five is getting on a podium saying, "Hey, listen, if you do not have any symptoms of the coronavirus, which is coughing." fever and whatsoever, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Do not get tested because we don't have enough uh, testes to test everybody. But if a celebrity is saying, hey, listen, I don't have no symptoms. I'm feeling good. I feel healthy. I don't feel like nothing. But I went and got tested and I'm positive for the coronavirus. That caused confusion. That made people be like, well, wait a minute now. Uh, I don't have... That is true, guys. You don't have to have symptoms to actually have the coronavirus. That I find quite confusing when the government are telling us to um, still work and still like do our daily day to lives, but just to stay two feet is it apart from each other? Like I don't get it. Like they say do the essential, but what is considered essential? It's me. Me going to work is essential to me because obviously I have to pay the bills. I have to pay everything. I live alone. Like I support myself. So if I don't go to work. No one's gonna do it for me. So that is essential to me. So when they're telling us, oh, work from home, I cannot literally work from home. Like, I can't. Symptoms, but I know I went out this and that day. Shit, I might just have it. Shit, I'm scared because I'm around my kid. I'm around my grandparents. What should I do? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. The, the general public, people that work regular jobs, people that get regular paychecks, the middle class, the, you know, Poor, whatever the crap. The poor. <laughs> I'm dead. What do you mean the poor? They're not getting. They're not getting treated like, 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 like the high. You know, 
that is true and the thing is guys some people live by check by check so if they don't have that month's check they cannot live they literally cannot survive and they can't pay their bills they can't put food on the table so i don't understand how the government that expecting us to like live survive if the corona won't kill you honestly not working and not living your day-to-day -day life will actually kill you the thing is my parents were me and my parents were talking if this whole coronavirus thing is over, we're going to see a rise in homeless people because people won't have um, money to actually save for the places and the bills and we'll find a lot more people are going to go homeless and that is a sad, sad thought that I feel like is actually going to happen. It's going to be a difficult time for sure. Very much. First thing first. And let me tell you something. If you're under 30, right? If you're under 30, because I know somebody that's under 30 has a cold, and they told them if your cold is not for eight days, you you cannot get tested. So you gotta be sick for eight days if you're under 30, so you could be eligible of getting a fucking coronavirus test. Now, if you're like, you I think that's the U.S., but the U.K. You have to have it for seven days until someone can look after you, or you can call for help like that is shocking to me like but then again they cannot do anything for you so i understand where they're coming from but still imagine if you have it you have to stay at home for seven days just terrified out of your mind you will go crazy if that was me i would i don't know what i would do like imagine i'm i live by myself i'm getting teary now just thinking about it but think about it i live by myself if i had it or if i'm having it or if i have symptoms of it i'm just gonna be at home just thinking about it, that will be rolling through my mind day in, day out, just thinking about what was going to happen. And the funny thing is, the other, the other day I thought that I had it because I had this mad, mad um, fever and I had a really hot temperature and I was literally by myself, I called my mum just to like explain what was happening but then she was like, oh no just keep monitoring it but luckily the next day it went away but imagine if that happened to me and imagine oh, there's something in my eye imagine if like it did happen and it was serious like what, what what was i supposed to do i couldn't go to my family i couldn't like go to my friends i couldn't do anything i just had to stay at home and hopefully got better but thankfully it wasn't i don't think because it just lasted me that day but that's the thing is, the smallest thing nowadays, we're all going to panic thinking it is the coronavirus. Like the smallest cough, you're going to think coronavirus. The high temperature, it's coronavirus. It could be simply just the good old cold or a fever or the or flu. flu. But, but then, then, I don't, I don't know, know, it's, it's just, just so yeah. terrifying. They're going to test you right away. However, your test results will come in four Imagine if you're living in shared house, a shared house, you literally infect everyone. So you're not helping. Like you're gonna give it to my, my spouse, my kids, anybody that's around me. And on top of that, a lot, a lot of celebrities, y'all have the luxury to pay thirty-four thousand dollars or whatever the fuck it costs to get tested and get treated. A lot of these people, they don't fucking have that money. And let's just speak on this, guys. People in the UK, or all of you in the UK, we're so lucky to have the NHS. Like, so lucky. Imagine living in America and having to pay for that. Imagine. So, the one thing, or the one best thing we have in this country 
it is the NHS and we take it so much for granted but it is incredible at what they do they are absolutely heroes in my eyes in this coronavirus and um, world we're living now we have no one to turn to but the NHS so I just salute them honestly they're doing an incredible job they're very um dedicated in what they do and I couldn't be prouder to live in this country in this time and have the NHS we should be worshipping those people they're absolutely incredible at what they do and even now they're going to be facing like tough tough times ahead so let's just pray for them let's just do our bit and let's just stay home to support the NHS as well all this shit I'm gonna for coronavirus treatments uh for for testing for all that shit I feel like the government should take that shit But charge that shit for the game and not charge people for it because at the end of the day, this shit could have been prevented when they found out about this shit a couple of months ago and the shit that was doing in China. Mmm, like that's another thing as well. We knew it was from China. We've known this for like a month now and still we knew it was going to spread. So I don't understand why we're like acting shocked that it came here. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand why it took so long. For us to start taking measures in actually preventing the virus from spreading more and also this whole um um what is it called i've lost my mind this whole vaccine i don't understand why it takes so long to actually um create a vaccine for the coronavirus they're talking about a year i don't I, it baffles me that it, in this day and age it's taking us a year to get vaccines, to actually treat people, to save lives basically. Obviously it's difficult to actually create um, a brand new vaccine for an illness we don't know, we've never come across. So I understand, but still, 2020 and we're taking a year and that's the best they can do to actually come up with a vaccine. Like it baffles me. Huh? And I agree, they should be charging money. None of that shit. This is y'all fault that got in this motherfucking country. That could have been avoided this shit. Mm -hmm. A month ago, everybody was saying that the, it's fine. This shit ain't that serious. Now look. I was that person. Look at that. And that's my point. Bye. Bye. Right. There's another one. This is a more light-hearted one. This is when she first found out about the coronavirus. Let's check it out. Government, let me tell y'all motherfucking something. I don't know what the fuck this coronavirus is about. I don't understand how that shit was from Wuhan, China. <laughs> this girl said Wuhan, China. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. What do you mean, who had China? Just China will do. <laughs> packages worry about coronavirus that's the last thing you should be thinking about your weave <laughs> This is the remix from that video we just watched of um, Cardi B um, talking about the corona. This is the remix of coronavirus, coronavirus, shit's getting real. Let's watch it and see. It is funny. It is so funny. Let's 
watch it again because that was too fun. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. 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 B